Hello, my beautiful dreamers. This is Maya Joy Kana. Welcome to today's video and thank you for being here. Today, I would like to speak about staying aligned in uncertain time so all of us are in these really you know we're in this kind of juicy time like across the planet where we're all observing that there's a lot of changes going on there's a lot of what feels like instability and although this can be a lot for our human minds to cope with during these times our soul often lights up with excitement because as we sort of ride these kind of waves like of the physical dimension we have an opportunity to choose alignment and today like the first thing that i'd like to convey is that in this moment you can make a choice no matter what is happening outside of you you can make a choice to align with the wisdom of your soul so much of what's going on in the collective right now has to do with the theme of power the planet pluto just went went direct and we're all reflecting even with the mars retrograde on how we're using our power and will in this dimension and a message that i have for all of you is that you know you are given in every moment the choice to be able to decide how you're showing up in this dimension and some of like the little tricks of this dimension sometimes reality and sometimes media and stuff it convinces us that the power is outside of us but actually the truth is that your frequency and thoughts dictate a lot of how you experience this reality and in this moment and every moment you can and you can choose to experience alignment with your soul and i invite you all to make that choice at this time you know you could affirm to yourself i choose to be aligned with the truth of my soul and what is that truth the truth is that you are a wise soul you come from a place of love you are temporarily experiencing a time and presence in this material dimension in order to be able to practice showing up from a place of kindness and generosity and humor and grace and love and alignment and every situation in your life is actually a gift to help you to be able to practice what you already know. One thing that I realize is a lot of people think that we are here to learn. Like we're here to learn. Like a lot of wonderful, wonderful spiritual teachers and stuff will say, oh, you're here to learn, you know, how to love and things like that. And I think the sentiment of that is really true. But actually, my my knowing is that we're not actually here to learn how to love or how to be. We already know these things. We learn these things actually in the higher dimensions. We're here to practice being that which we already are when presented with challenges to our alignment. And I think in many ways, even though our minds can feel overwhelmed when reality, as it appears to be, tries to pull us into dramas or pull us into duality or pull us into fear, I think our souls are excited and we're like, we're like you know, yes, here's my opportunity to stay aligned in spite of the challenge. And that's what I want to encourage everybody um, to do at this time is stay aligned in spite of the challenges. There are many things that are trying to pull us into fear or duality at this time on the earth plane, but actually peace and joy and serenity is a choice. So how can you stay aligned? How can you stay aligned like during this time on the earth plane, staying aligned in uncertain times. One of the things that's really important at this time is to take a little bit of time each day to unplug because 
there are certain energies which are really circulating um, in the media at this time. And those of you who are very highly sensitive can often take on these energies thinking that they belong to you when they actually don't. These are energies of conflict that are being created and circulated by uh, beings outside of you, but which you could experience as your own, especially if you're spending a lot of time living in those planes. So one principle is to take time each day to unplug a great thing that you can do is to take a little walk in nature or things like that and explicitly when you do this to reflect on that which is beautiful like to reflect on that which is beautiful in nature and to take the time to hear and connect with your own guides with your higher self our guides at this time are like really inviting us to be in conversation with them. The spiritual dimensions are actually opening up to greater levels right now. And just know that connection is always, 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 always there for you. And that's actually what I want to talk about in, as principle too, is staying in alignment um, during these times. Remember to call on support from those spiritual beings who exist to support us during this material life. A lot of us spend our manifestation energy trying to manifest certain material things or money or different things like that. But actually the specialty of the angels and divine beings is actually in helping us to achieve uh, energy presences or certain emotions or things like that. So one of the things that you can do to actually stay in alignment is actually ask the angels ask your guides to help you align with the truth of your soul. I mean, for me, that's one of the biggest things. Like every morning, you know, when I wake up, I'm like, you know, I call out to the angels and I'm like, you know, dear angels, like today, please offer me assistance in aligning with joy or coming into alignment with my soul's truth. And it's crazy. It's like on days that I ask for that angelic assistance, I feel aligned. Like sometimes I just need to ask, you know, and I think this can help all of you as well. Please help me to show up as the greatest and best version of myself today in this reality. And when I do, when I ask that, or I ask for assistance in holding more love or more joy in my body, for example, I find that the days flow much better than when I don't. So call in assistance. If you're feeling like lower vibrational or you're feeling really affected by what's going on in the world at this time, ask for relief from that feeling. Ask for those beings who exist for the purpose of helping you to uplift your spirit to uplift your spirit. Yes. Another thing is to have the courage to tune into that which helps you remember who you truly are. Have the courage to tune into that which helps you to remember who you truly are. I think in many times we can feel like we need to give our attention to that which is popular or trending at this particular time. However, some of those things may be created to perpetuate certain energy signatures, which we actually don't want to proliferate on this planet. So realize you have free will to give your attention to those things which help remind you of who you truly are. Now, those things could be certain hobbies. You want to do the things like that May, that help you to feel aligned where you really think, gosh, when I'm doing this thing, maybe it's dancing or maybe it's painting or maybe it's listening to a certain podcast or a certain song or maybe it's meditating or maybe it's swimming or maybe it's talking to that soul sister or soul brother or whoever. And it's like, when I do this, I feel like who I am. Know that you get to choose what you give your attention to and begin to observe when you're giving your attention and presence to things that are causing you to feel out of alignment or are draining your energy. And intentionally in every day, just like in every day, it's a great practice to spend some time where we're unplugging. Even if it is a five minute walk where it's like, I'm not gonna bring my phone or I'm gonna power off my phone and put it in my pocket. And 
I'm just going to be present and I'm going to look for what's beautiful. Like I'm going to look for the beauty of the, um, the light sort of shining on the leaves and the birds singing and the cute little dog, you know, being walked by its owner down the street and things like that. The truth of the matter is there's a great deal of good that's all around us, but there are certain... Um, there, there are things that distract us from the good, actually, like that are going on. And a lot of those things are being circulated um, in the media. But there is so much good around us. And we can use our presence and our energy and our attention, no matter what's going on around us, to do that which helps us to feel like who we really are. So ask yourself the question, what helps me feel the most like myself? bring in more of that. Just do your very, very best. Just do your very, very best. And remember that you can stay aligned. You have the ability to stay aligned no matter what is going on around you. So often as highly sensitive beings, right, we we feel the discordant energies that are outside of us and we, we sort of take them on as if they're our own, but actually they don't have anything to do with us. And so we're all becoming like warriors of alignment at this time, right? And realize you can get to the point where there could be somebody who's right in front of you and they are screaming in your face. They could be screaming in your face and you can choose peace in that moment. That person's energy is not your energy. You are being of love. You are being of peace who's here in this physical dimension to practice that which you already know, which is how to exist from a place of compassion, from a place of love, and from a place of alignment. Yes. These are very wonderful times to practice these skills. Another little like tip that I have for everyone right now in navigating these energies is to be aware when you have been pulled into a place of fear. Sometimes our nervous systems get activated, you know, and we don't even realize it's happening. And all of a sudden, we're just not feeling so good. We're just not feeling good at all. And weeks later, we wake up and be like, oh my gosh, you know, it, it all goes back to this thing I watched or this thing somebody said to me and I got pulled into fear and I forgot who I really am. Remember that there's nothing in your life that will ever happen that's not a part of your divine plan. Remember that you are protected and there are no mistakes in life. No harm is going to come to you. I feel like there's so many things in this dimension right now which are like bringing out this sort of part of our animalistic brain that is focused on survival and they're, they're, the message in the collective in so many ways right now is like, here's why you should be afraid <laughs> and here's what could go wrong. And because that message is really strong in the collective right now, there is the need to balance it with reminding yourself, here's what can go right. Here's what can go right. Here's why I don't need to fear. And to really bring in like those messages and supports that help you to um, nourish yourself at this time. Another principle of alignment as well, besides bringing in what will nourish and taking a little bit of time to unplug and being aware of when you've been pulled into fear or when you've been pulled into drama, um, some other things that can help at this time. Another big thing is really um, helping others, is focusing on showing love or helping other people um, at this time. And I guess where this is coming from is I very currently, like I feel this inspiration around this idea of these small acts of kindness, whether that's just taking the time to smile at somebody or to pick up a little piece of trash that you see like on the street or send a little like card in the mail, a little note of kindness, just thinking of you and wishing you love and wishing you the very best. Um, whether it's taking the time to say something nice, you know, so often like we can, we don't even realize we're doing it, but right, like we, maybe we're texting with a friend or something like that and we're focusing on everything that's wrong, you know, oh, this is going wrong, it's going wrong and we're all venting. And to take a time to point out something beautiful or to remind that person, listen, I love you. I appreciate you. I, I haven't said it to you in a while and I know, you know, we talk fairly often and, but I just want you to know, I'm really glad you're here. 
I think you're wonderful. And in that little way to like contribute some positivity into this dimension. And the final thing I want to share right now is this awareness that whatever you're going through now, whatever uncertainty you might be facing or whatever upset you might be experiencing, to know that this is temporary. In the end, all of us return to a place of peace and a place of love. And I think the real highest truth is that everybody here is really doing the best that they can. And we're all no matter what it looks like on the outside, all of us are souls. All of us are beautiful. All of us exist in a space of love. And that's the truth of this dimension. And at this time, as you choose alignment, ask the universe to help you to be able to see through the eyes of your soul. And when you do see through the eyes of your soul, it's amazing how all the things that divide us and all the differences kind of just melt away. Those differences are a product of a certain level of consciousness. And when we show up with the consciousness of our soul, although we can still perceive those differences, they no longer feel threatening. They no longer feel fearful. They no longer feel like anything to concern ourselves with. So today I invite you to choose alignment. Every day I invite you to choose alignment. Choose to be aligned with your soul. Choose to see through the eyes of your soul. And what you'll see is that the love starts to come out. You start to see that. You start to see the beauty in everyone. And you no longer feel afraid of the uncertainty. The truth of the matter is when you choose alignment in every moment and you choose to focus on that which helps you to feel like yourself and you choose to work with the divine beings that surround you there's nothing ever that can happen to you that will be too much for you to handle because from your place of alignment you will always be protected and you will always be safe so anyway that's my little message today and i just want you all to know that i have received a lot of your comments and stuff asking me, Maya, where are you? When is your next video going to come out? And I want you to know that I have wanted to create videos for all of you every single day. And I love creating for you and sharing these messages with you. And unfortunately, due to a series of very unfortunate events, um, I have not had the technology to be able to create anything for all of you. And actually, today's video is only possible due to one of you, an amazing subscriber named Tony, who has actually put together this video for me. So I want to just say a special thank you to Tony. Please thank Tony in the comments for today's video um, because this is only possible uh, because of him. So I just want you to know I'm thinking of all of you. I'm sending my love. There are challenging energies present right now, but you are a sovereign being who can be aligned in the face of anything. And I just want everybody to know and remember that at this time. And you guys all make me so proud. You are honestly, you guys are all like warriors and ambassadors of love and joy and alignment. And you guys are all doing such a good job. So just go out there and enjoy. Maybe have a little coy smile on your face as you experience people trying to pull you into anger, frustration, or debate. And from you and, and enjoy the experience of coming to that place of higher consciousness and showing up in alignment and getting to experience the tremendous feeling of power that comes from knowing that nothing really can shake your foundation of peace and acceptance and compassion for all of humanity because that's the truth of who you really are and you know that you're safe and you know that you're protected and you know that so much of what you see around you is really just an illusion. But the truth is that all is always well and everything is always unfolding as it should. So thank you guys so much for listening today. It's an honor to connect with you. I'm sending you all lots of high fives for your amazing alignment and lots of encouragement to live fearlessly. So thank you again for listening and namaste.